What's up, awesome people, and happy Monday. Welcome to our read aloud for today. The book that we get to explore is called Poncho Rabbit and the Coyote. It is by Duncan Tunatua. So let's get reading. One spring, the rains did not come and the crops could not grow. So Papa Rabbit, Senor Rooster, Senor Ram, and other animals from the rancho set out north to find work in the great carrot and lettuce fields. There, they could earn money for their families. Many harvests went by, and it was finally time for Papa Rabbit to return home. His family was preparing a big fiesta. Everyone on the rancho was excited to see him, especially Pancho Rabbit, his oldest son. I heard Mama telling Senor Duck that Papa saved enough money in El Norte so that he won't ever have to leave us again, Pancho told his brothers and sisters. They were helping Mama cook Papa his favorite meal, mole, rice and beans, a heap of warm tortillas, and a jug full of fresh agua miel. The musicians arrived and began to tune their instruments while Pancho and his sister hung papel picado to decorate the patio. The rabbit's friends from the rancho began to arrive. They listened to the musica, they ate some mole, and they waited and waited, but Papa Rabbit did not appear. He must have had a late start, said Mama Rabbit. Maybe the weather was bad and he had to find shelter said Pancho's youngest sister. They waited some more, but still Papa Rabbit was not to be seen. When it was dark, the musicians and the guests said their goodbyes and headed home. Your Papa will certainly arrive by morning, Senor Duck told Pancho and his family. After waiting and worrying long into the night, the Rabbit family finally went to bed, except for Pancho. I have to find my father, he thought. He packed Papa's favorite meal, mole, rice and beans, a heap of still warm tortillas, and a jug full of fresh agua mía. He placed it in a mochila to carry on his back and headed out. Pancho followed the stars north. After walking a while, he met a coyote. Good evening, little rabbit. Where are you going? Good evening, Senor Coyote. I'm going north to meet my papa, who has been working in the carrot and lettuce fields, replied Pancho. It'll take you days and days to get there on this trail, replied the coyote. I can show you a shortcut. That is, if you give me that sweet and spicy mole you have. I smelled it a mile away. Pancho did not wish to give his father's mole away, but he missed him terribly. As long as it gets me closer to Papa, he said, and he let the coyote have it. The coyote led Pancho to the train tracks. As the sun rose, he showed Pancho how to jump onto a passing car. The train was running so fast, poor Pancho almost fell off. They rode atop the train, zooming through the countryside. When the train slows for a curve, Pancho and the coyote leaped off. We must now cross the river, said the coyote. Senor Coyote, I don't know how to swim, said Pancho. The water was murky and rushed by very fast. He was scared. I can help you reach the other side, said the coyote, but I will be exhausted after I do. Once we are across, I will need to eat the rice and beans you are carrying to regain my strength. Fine, said Pancho, as long as it gets me closer to Papa. The coyote picked up a tire that was junked on the riverbank. Pancho gathered all his courage and held on tight. Splash, they jumped into the river. The coyote helped him float to the far bank. And although he did not want to, Pancho gave the coyote the rice and beans just as he promised. The sun was high in the sky now. 
Pancho and the coyote walked on and soon reached a very tall fence that separated the south from the north. It was impossible to jump or climb over. There is a tunnel we can use, said the coyote, but the snakes watch it. If you give them the tortillas you are carrying, I'm sure they will let us through. As long as it gets me closer to Papa, Pancho said inside. The coyote talked to the snakes. They agreed to let them pass, but demanded every single one of Pancho's tortillas. Pancho and the coyote entered the tunnel. It was dark, narrow, and very long. When they emerged, Pancho and the coyote were on the north side of the fence. They were in El Norte. The afternoon sun beat down on them and there was no shade. The coyote pointed to a hut in the distance. We could spend the night there, he said. In the morning, I will take you to the great carrot and lettuce fields, and there you will find your papa. Pancho and the coyote walked under the desert sun. Poor Pancho's feet ached. Give me some of that aguamiel you have, little rabbit, said the coyote. I feel dizzy. If I don't drink something, I will collapse and we will never get there. Pancho gave the coyote some agua miel. The sand and air were scorching hot and Pancho felt dizzy. He was very thirsty and he drank the remainder. As long as it gets me closer to Papa, repeated Pancho to himself in a daze. When Pancho and the coyote reached the hut, it was dark. The coyote built a small fire for light and warmth because at night the desert is freezing cold. I am so hungry after all that walking, said the coyote. Do you have any more mole, little rabbit? No, Senor Coyote, you ate it all. Any more rice and beans? No, Senor Coyote, you ate them all. Any more tortillas? No, Senor Coyote, the snakes ate them all. There is nothing left, not even a drop of agua miel. In that case, said the coyote, I will roast you in the fire and eat you. With a cry, Pancho leaped for the door. He was the fastest animal back on the farm and normally he could outrun the coyote, but he was tired from the long journey. He could not reach the door. He could not reach the window. All he could do was huddle in a corner as the coyote slowly approached. Suddenly, the door was thrown open. Who entered but Papa Rabbit with Senor Ram and Senor Rooster. They soon had the coyote racing outdoors and far away with his tail between his legs. Panchito, mijo, said Papa Rabbit, and he gave Pancho a hug. I thought I would never see you again. A gang of crows attacked us, said Senor Rooster. They took the money and gifts we were bringing back home to our families and left us stranded in the desert. We heard your cries for help, said Senor Ram. Your papa recognized your voice. We ran to you as fast as we could. Papa, said Pancho, I am so happy to find you and I know the way home. So Pancho led Papa Rabbit, Senor Rooster, and Senor Ram home. When they arrived, there was a big fiesta. There was mole, rice, and beans, warm tortillas, fresh agua miel, and musica for everyone on the rancho. Pancho told his brothers and sisters all about the dangers he and Papa had faced. Please don't leave us again, said the rabbit children. We were so worried for you. I don't want to leave you, said Papa Rabbit, but the crows took all our money. If it doesn't rain enough again this year, and if there is no food or work here on the rancho, what else am I to do? I will have to leave again. And I will come with you, said Pancho. We will all go with you, said Pancho's brother and sisters. Let's hope it rains, said Mama. The end. So that was the story of Pancho and the Coyote. I hope you enjoyed that story along with those beautiful pictures. I think the illustrated illustrations are wonderful. So super scholars, let's move your bodies, stretch it out so we can get right back 
to our work.